affordable ones because you know these food prices <laughs> listen these food prices are a lot they are they are they are doing too much i told you ain't gonna leave it's your swag though i'm chanel tennessee hi, 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 hi studio this it's probably gonna be January 8th and I feel like that's still a good amount of time to tell people happy new year yeah 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 <laughs> so happy new year welcome to 2022 I have so many plans for this channel well just one plan and I hope in that you guys can help me along side note I know I've been really quiet on this channel for some time but there was just a lot of things going on like I had really strenuous exams last year <laughs> I got COVID. It was just a lot. Maybe I'll do a story time about my entire COVID experience. But yeah, it, I'm healthy and I'm back. Thank God. Anyways, on today's episode, I'll be making roasted squash soup. Now, funny thing about this is that I bought squash along with other vegetables. Took for Christmas Day dinner, right? But I bought extra, so I had the extra just sitting in my fridge. And then one day I saw that the squash was about to spoil, and I was like, um, hi, hello, yeah, you're not gonna spoil on me. I'm gonna use you because I don't wanna waste my money. So that's how I came up with the idea behind this recipe because squash soup is quite popular, but I feel like it's not popular in Trinidad and Tobago. So why not put a whole Caribbean Trini twist on it? Yeah, you'll see some very common ingredients that we use with other dishes in this recipe. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the recipe. So the start of the show is this extra squash that I had since Christmas. It's already been washed, but because it's kind of hard to peel, I'm going to roast it with the skin on. So the first thing I'm doing is just cutting off the top. And I'm also going to cut off the base as well. Now this is just going to make it much easier for me to handle. So here standing it up tall i'm going to use my knife and slice it down the middle and try to cut it in even pieces so that it roasts evenly but if you don't get it in even slices that's all right don't worry about it this is what the inside looks like if you've never seen the inside of a squash before next up i'm using a spoon to scoop out the seeds now don't throw those seeds away you can dry them and roast them in the oven as well or just dry them and eat them they're very nutritious and it's a quick healthy snack so i'm done scooping out the seeds so it's time to move on to the next part so here i have a lined baking tray and i'm simply placing the squash slices into the lined baking tray then i'm drizzling some oil on top of each slice Now for extra flavor, I'm adding black pepper and salt on top. But next time, what I should do, and this is a great tip for you as well, is just to score or just lightly slice the squash so that the flavors are better able to penetrate through the entire squash and not just stick on the surface. So now that I'm finished dressing the squash, I'm flipping them over so they're face down. And I'm also adding my favorite garlic. So I'm just adding three garlic cloves and I added a little bit of oil. So I'm roasting this as well. And this goes into the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So after about 30 minutes, you see already how soft the squash is looking. I'm just gonna flip it over and show you. And it's also fork tender. So I'm using a spoon and scooping out all that buttery, creamy, roasted squash from its shell. <laughs> and using one squash, I got about three cups of roasted squash flesh. So now for the soup, I'm adding one small chopped onion and allowing it to sweat for about five minutes. Then I'm adding three chopped pimentos. And I find the pimentos these days are a little spicy, so you want to be careful with that. Then for 
extra flavor i'm adding two bay leaves you can also add ruku at this point if you have any but i didn't so i added the bay leaves for extra flavor now at this point in time i'm adding the roasted squash now if you're short on time you can just chop off the squash and just and just add it as is without roasting to the pot but roasting really adds this depth of sweetness that it's undeniable here i'm adding the roasted garlic and if you all only smell this roasted garlic it smells so good and it really added extra flavor to this dish i added coconut milk as base but you can always add chicken stock or veggie stock or even water but since we're keeping it trini i said let me add the coconut milk for some extra flavor i added a seasoning mix of garlic powder onion powder black pepper and paprika and for an extra kick i added one half teaspoon of ginger grated ginger since the main ingredient the squash is already cooked i just allowed it to simmer for about five minutes until it came up to a boil you don't have to cook it for too long but of course if you didn't roast it you would have to wait until the squash is fork tender and i wanted my soup to be very thick and creamy so i allowed it to just reduce a little bit in terms of the liquid content then i added it to my blender so it became extra thick and creamy so here's what it looks like after i blended it for a few seconds you see how thick that is and super creamy if you don't like your soups this creamy you can always add extra liquid to it so here's what the final dish looks like i got a little fancy so i added some coconut milk drizzle lime parsley some black uh, sesame seeds and also some chili flakes thank you so much for watching this video if you do try this recipe please comment down below or message me on instagram on facebook also on tiktok at balance with with gabs take pictures send me i love to see when y'all do new recipes if you're looking better than mine <laughs> also so i'm just thinking about using common household items to make some creative meals so if you have any idea or if you have any suggestions i should say if you have any suggestions on any common food items in your home that you would like me to make recipes around or about or make them the main star main main ingredients of any recipes please comment down below and let me know if you have any suggestions any ideas i'm definitely open to trying my hand at these yeah <laughs> so with that being said thank you again for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button welcome to the balance bits family we'll see you next time bye